today we're gonna talk about money, compliments, and margaritas. No, nope. and margaritas. Yeah, we're gonna talk about what motivates you, right? Did any of those motivate you? No. Uh, I have to take you back. I have to take you back many, many years when I was a retail CEO and I had some clothing stores. One day, uh, we were building a new store and all of the employees wanted to go see what the store was like and one stayed behind. Oh. And this one that stayed behind, I remember her name was Yvonne. And Yvonne really kind of clicked into my psyche. You see, I kept thinking, she stayed behind and we all went to have fun because she wanted to hold down the fort. Who, oh, me? So that night I got to thinking about how I compensate people and I got this great idea that I would have team commission. Ah that everybody would get a percentage of every day. Now our number one salesperson at the time, don't laugh, her name was Frenchie. Whoa. Frenchie was phenomenal. She sold a good five to 10 times more than anybody else in the store. Whoa. So when I told everybody about team commission, I saw Frenchie's little face get kind of sad, but kind of ignored it because I had other people on the team and I wanted to be fair, right? What I noticed was having one motivation, team commission, unmotivated my number one sales oh no she got sad you see she wanted the recognition she wanted that paycheck yeah. that she could feel good about herself you like me i earned this i did this what i began to see was that it didn't matter to the other employees you see other things motivated them yeah. with my high school kids it wasn't really about the team commission as much as it was about having fun and giving them projects like kids when you come in today you're going to redo all the windows yay they got excited that motivated them and for others it was when we had our sales somebody would bring in the donuts and somebody else would make the margaritas for others it was just a discount on their clothing what i learned that year was that every employee has a different way of being motivated one size motivation doesn't fit all and isn't that true today it's the era of the individual. We have to begin to understand the needs of our employees. We have to begin to listen to what their motivators are. And then, when possible, try to serve them. This is Karen McCullough with another Lesson from the Road.